नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर अंशु जिंदल फ्रॉम जिंदल हॉस्पिटल मेरठ आई एम अ रिप्रोडक्टिव स्पेशलिस्ट एंड एन ऑब्सटेशन वर्किंग हेयर एज वी आर ऑल अवेयर दैट कलर टॉपलर हैज नाउ इमर्ज एज अ वेरी सोफेस्टिकेटेड इमेजिंग टेक्निक इन ऑर्डर टू इम्प्रूव द प्रेगनेंसी रेट्स इन आई वी एफ एंड इट इज बींग इंक्रीजिंगली यूज टू एसेस द एंडोमीटरियल रिसेप्टिविटी the modified applebaum uterine scoring system which actually measures the endometrial thickness the endometrial morphology the blood flow till zone 3 and 4 myometrial echogenicity uterine flow pulsatility index and blood flow to the end myometrium internal to the arcuate vessels is now being used to assess the endometrial receptivity in ivf a score of 20 is considered the maximum and a score of 13 is considered poor and today we have none other than dr sonal panchal to tell us the five secrets of having a good pregnancy rates before a blastocyst transfer dr sonal panchal is a professor at the dubrovnik international university she is a faculty and national academic director of ian donald school of ultrasound She has done some amazing and pioneering research work in infertility and PCO related ultrasounds. She has published papers in both national and international conferences. Hi friends. Today I am going to disclose a secret to you as to how to get more than 70% conception rates with blastocyst transfers. And the secret is in the ultrasound evaluation of the endometrium before we start progesterone we start progesterone only after the endometrium reaches a thickness of 7 mm which we all do the morphology is important of course you all know triple line or multi layered but even a homogeneous isoechoic endometrium is good enough provided it shows excellent vascularity and what is that excellent vascularity the blood vessels when you switch on the power doppler must reach inside the endometrium beyond the outer hyperechoic line and preferably should also reach the central line this can be achieved if you set your prf on the machine of the doppler at 0.3 with a lowest wall filter these vessels should cover at least a 5 mm square area which, which is sufficient for the embryo implantation and if you cannot calculate that there should be at least 5 vessels from both the sides if that is the central line of the endometrium from both the sides closely placed 5 vessels which are reaching the endometrium it has a low resistance flow less than 0.5 or less than 0.6 should be the ri and provided the uterine artery pi the pulsatility index is less then 3.2 if that those are the findings and you start progesterone then for 5 days before you do a blastocyst transfer believe me you will get 75% pregnancy rates thank you so we have just heard dr sonal panchal and all the five secrets she has told us about how endometrial receptivity can be judged by color doppler and if it is not found up to the mark then it is better to freeze the embryos and transfer them in a freeze thaw cycle which has been hormonal prepared and the very interesting observation that i came across that if this high oxygen tension in the thin endometrium actually is detrimental to embryo trans implantation so thank you for watching for this uh, video of ours if you like this video please click on the uh, like button and subscribe to our channel global art forum so that we can bring you more and more videos on some very interesting topics of 
both IVF, infertility and obstetrics. Namaskar.